They say that's quite a boon here on Aternum. Although, I think souls are a little overrated. But indeed, now that you have your staff, you can fight against the corruption as you couldn't before. You've seen the breaches. The red roiling wounds in the land that belt smoke and despair like a vent into an underworld of pure, raw torment. Your staff can close them. The staff is potent. The power of Azoth and that of a pure, willingly given soul. You should christen it. Find one of the breaches nearby, but be careful. Corruption's works are rarely left unguarded. Well done. You closed the breach. I can taste it. Corruption will not spread unchecked anymore. I'd say you were born to be a soul warden, if that weren't such a tragic notion. Oh yes, a side effect of the process. Like it or not, you'll be able to taste corruption soon too. Like a rotten tooth, sweet with decay, followed by an aftertaste of blood. It quite ruins dessert, I'm afraid. Don't say I didn't warn you now, but you get used to it. Sort of. There is just one more thing you need before you can be anointed as a soul warden. <laughs> 